Oi oi my drillers, it's your geezer, Big Dotty Cow, and today I'm going to talk to you about covenants, but oh wait, over 80% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel, so unless you want Blizzard to add enough of 40 renown at the end of our renown 80 grind, then I suggest that you go and subscribe to the channel. Ah oh, yes, the renown grind. Just the grind we all have come to know and hate. That's right. This is by far one of the most oot unfriendly systems that have been put in the game as of late. Like, you could grind the Renown on one class. Yeah, let's say I grind it on my Warlock. I'm currently renowned 16 Necrolords on one Warlock. Yeah. And my alt warlock, I'm currently renowned too with a night fay. That's right. There's no, there's no there's there's no reward for you already doing the renowned right? No. And you know. It's not like I'm gonna go on a death like this Necrolord and have a renown done as well, because I've already done the Necrolord renown grind. Nope. 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 Yeah, you gotta regrind it on every single character. And every single covenant. And if you swap covenants, ha <laughs> ha too bad, dude. You're grinding that renown again. You are grinding that renown again all the way up to 80, my friend. And you know what? This renown grind is necessary if you want to be optimal because it unlocks co um, covenant soul bind conduit slots, which you need to do that extra bit of passive damage. And you need this extra stamina if you want to have the most health possible that you get from doing the renown grind. Not to mention that you need to be at such a high renown to fully upgrade your honor gear. And by the time you hit that renown, you've already got better gear. Like, why is there a renown grind attached to leveling up honor gear? It, it makes no sense. By the time you've gotten to that renown, You'd have already been well out geared of a match rank of honor gear. It's just redundant, man. It's just redundant. Like, oh, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. And the next thing. The covenants that really gets under my skin. The soul binds. Like, seriously. We get three soul binds. With a load of conduit slots and special powers. We pick these powers. How often do you notice your soulbind powers? I tell you what, yeah. The only soulbind differences you really notice is stuff like Seed, an extra door of sad shadows from Phaetar. Maybe sometimes you might notice Euphoria if you play Nadia. The extra life from Bonesmith Hymir. The debuff you get from Bonesmith Hymir. And that's it. There might be a couple of us. They, they don't offer much. They don't really change the way you play the game. And the like, almost all of these conduits only give passive increases. Like, you barely notice a difference. Like, oh, I got a 10% chance for my mortal strike to hit again. Oh, what's that? My decimating bolt missiles do 13% more damage. Whoa, that is. Uh, Cool, yeah. Like it, it, ba it barely changes how you play the game. And you know what? If you want to be optimal on damage meters, if you want to be at the top of those meters, you gotta get them. You need to get those conduits, or else enjoy 14th spot in the meters DPS, or just enjoy being out healed by a tank healers. You know, because uh. Yeah, you, you need this extra percent of damage. You just need it. And you know what really bugs me, yeah? To get these conduits, it already takes some RNG. And these conduits add RNG to your gameplay. So, not only is it now RNG for getting loot, but it's now even further layers of RNG for you to do your damage. Oh, I don't know. It, 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 can't, it kind of makes these meaningful achievements in the game seem a bit... Oh yeah, you could get them by luck from all the stars aligning. 
And you know what? If you want to unlock something like Stoneborn Draven on your fresh Venfear Death Knight, because, well, he's your Biss and Slot Soulbound. Biss and Slot, you know. You gotta run that campaign again. Ooh, I think it was nine chapters on every character if you want all the soul bones. Oh, I've already done it once. Yet again. Why am I doing it again? Okay, okay, okay. So, out of everything to do with covenants, this one really gets under my skin. So, the covenant meta, yeah. If you go onto most characters, you're gonna find out that checking your wellhead guides, either Night Fate is the best covenant for you to pick on that spec or character or class in general, or it's gonna be very optimal. Like, it, it's not like, say, Venfear for Warlocks. You'd never pick it. You Why, why would you wanna pick Venfear for Warlocks? It's such, it's a bad decision. But Night Fae for everyone? Hey, I mean... If... I, I, I don't know, like... It, it's good. It's like, why play any other Covenant than Night Fae? Like, they might as well have just released the Night Fae. One Covenant. That's it. I don't know. And like... It's not even an enjoyable covenant for me. But you know, if you want to change, if the meta changes, yeah, and you want to swap your covenant around, like say, if you played an arms warrior last patch, you were Venfear. Now, you better be Nightfear. You're grinding that renown again, mate. And you're grinding that story again to get your soul bind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, r really. Really, like, I get that Blizzard want to slow our progression down so that we spend more time progressing. But first of all, I've already done the content. Doing it again would be boring. Second of all, I'm, I'm either going to progress my character and quit the game, and if this progression is too disgusting, then I'm not even going to bother with the game, or I'm going to progress my character and then move on to an oh. This, this, the same sort of people will be carrying on, will still carry on if the progression's short, because they all want to go and play other classes and specs, or they'll just want to be super powerful. They don't want to spend weeks and weeks and weeks of their time grinding renown just to be powerful, man. And here's what really gets me, yeah. I go on my warrior, yeah. Clearly, as a warrior. I see the war, the bloodthirsty soldiers of Maldraxxus, and I dally with them. The sin, the condemners, the atoners, the Venthyr. Maybe I'd ally with them. Or maybe I'd be a warrior of justice, throwing my Spartan spear to keep my enemies in place. <laughs> There's no way. I'd be allied with the Night Fae that are hugging trees and petting corgis that have literally no reason to have any form of rage, right? Uh, right? Blizz? Oh, you did it again. So, Necrolords are all about war, but warriors don't ally with Necrolords. They go with Night Fae who aren't about war. Why? Why? Oh my god. So, with all this criticism, I think it's only fair to say some things that I think would positively impact the game in regards to Covenants. So, my first idea is that Covenants should be purely cosmetic, yeah? I don't think there should be a renowned grind, especially when it comes to progression. It's such a lengthy grind when all you want to do is, like, log on and play your Mythic Plus, play your arenas, play your battlegrounds or just go in for your raids like you don't want to log on and farm um, this arbitrary level system we've already we've already grinded levels to max level why are we grinding levels again 
Like, we've already done it, okay? It's the, it's the same content. Don't make us do it again, okay? And then also, stop making salt binds for con uh, combat aids. Because you're spending way too much time balancing these soul binds when your efforts could be put in making other parts of the game that desperately need it far more better. Okay. So I've I've got I've got some other options of how covenant abilities could be changed. I think one option is that covenant abilities can outright be removed and we have cosmetic flares to our abilities, such as something like a glyph of condemn, which changes maybe our warriors execute into a condemn, like a red condemn for Venfear. Maybe a light blue condemn for Kyrian, a darker blue condemn for Night Fae, and a green condemn for Necrolords. That way, you aren't being like, Oh damn, my damage sucks because I'm not the right Covenant. But instead, Covenants, they're just like, Hey, that looks cool, dude. That looks cool, dude. And, uh, you know, I, I think that worked pretty well. Another way we could do it is we could keep Covenant abilities the way they are, but allow you to freely swap between Covenants. No grinds needed at all. What's that? You have a Venfear, Legendary, Sinful Surge as a warrior maybe? You swap to Night Fae? Well, in that case, you should have the Night Fae Legendary. And plus, if they do keep the Renown grind in for progression, then... Don't make me lose my renown. At least let me keep the renown on that character. I've done the grind. I've been through it all. Repeated content is just not fun. Like it, it, it's like saying, "Oh, you leveled that warrior to 60. Will you have to level this same character to 60 again for the reason of um, swapping one of your abilities?" Like. And then also, you know, no more story grind to unlock the other soul binds because, well, you've done the story. Like, I'm I'm all for this sort of these sort of grinds being in the game, but only do it once, okay? When it's done, it's done. Then the last thing I want to say is make all covenants offer the same class ability. Though they'd probably have to buff the Venfear Door of Shadows just to make it a bit more optimal. Maybe have it. In it. I don't know. Like, I, I, I honestly have no idea. I'm perfectly honest. But have these common abilities offer a different cosmetic look? Say, like a Warlock's Decimating Bolt if you play as a Necrolord. You could have that in green as a Maldraxxus. Or maybe you could have it in blue, light blue as a Kyrian, Dark, darker blue as Night Fae, and red as Venfear. Now, you may be thinking this is the exact same as the first idea, but the first idea was saying not having the abilities, just a cosmetic flair. This is having the abilities and a cosmetic flair. That way, gameplay is still, is still altered compared to how it was in the past but it's also you don't feel left out because you're not a certain covenant i think that's important but yeah that is it for me talking about covenants if you enjoyed this video then do be sure to hit the like button or else it's going to be sad because you forced it to go through enough of a noun grind be sure to hit the subscribe button and smash that bell because that means that you can see my next uploads. And uh, go check out my other socials in the links in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also be sure to leave a comment if you want to. I'll see you guys in the next one.